So everybody, slightly different video today, as I'm not actually going to be showing you how you can unlock something that's in the game right now. I'm actually going to be covering stuff that's going to be coming to GTA Online this month, and potentially some stuff that might not come, but it's also potentially could come as well. There's some stuff I don't know about, but anyway, the first thing is that the new Halloween event is similar to last year. However, there's a collectible involved in taking pictures of them. Now, they're pretty much the same spawn locations as last time, uh, but and some only appear once as well, so you're going to want to make sure which ones appear once. I'll tell you later on in the video, uh, and then the Fort Zone Kudo one is going to be the stealth one instead of the normal one and that will count as an extra photo but it isn't required for the hats the ufos that aren't going to repeat themselves are going to appear on october 18th october 21st and october 23rd you can't miss those days if you want to get many more logins october 18th 21st 23rd 27th 28th 29th and 31st are the days that you're going to want to have to log in so here's a quick map going to show you all the locations. When it actually releases, you can go to gtaweb.eu to see them as well. Uh, and then you're just going to want to go to these locations on the days that they say they're available. You can also get abducted as well by certain UFOs as well. That will unlock you the green and white UFO boxer shorts. And also, this is what they look like. And then for taking a picture of every UFO besides the stealth one, you can unlock the glow, grey and black believe caps. Here's a quick look at what these guys look like as well. They're kind of cool. Uh, they kind of match the Chiliad mural uh, UFO design with an alien head on top of that as well. Now another collectible rocks that are going to be adding are the jack-o'-lanterns. Now there are going to be 200 of these available to collect and they respawn every single day. Collecting at least 10 a day rewards you with a bonus cash for the day. And if you collect 10 total, you're going to get this horror pumpkin mask as well, which also comes with like a animation action, which is just like a funny laugh or something. And if you collect 200 in total, you're going to get the pumpkin t-shirt which looks a bit like this. I'm not really sure it's worth collecting 200 for them, but I'm gonna end up doing it anyway for videos. And the reason I'm making this video is because that event could be released tomorrow at the beginning of October. Now here's a look at 12 unreleased alien outfits. Comes from Wildbrick142 over on Twitter. And also this was supposed to release last year, I believe, the pumpkin parachute, but we still don't know how to get that. So I'm gonna be making videos when they get released. There's also a Bigfoot outfit, which nobody knows how to get yet. So whenever that gets announced, I'll make a video on how to get that as well. Everything I've covered in this video is gonna get a follow-up video when it actually gets released. So keep in mind and stay subscribed if you wanna see when that stuff gets added. And there will be quick videos like this as well. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video has hyped you up for the Halloween event. It's probably going to have the same sort of slasher stuff as last year as well. So there may be even more unlocks. This is just stuff that people have found in the code. Links to everybody that's got credit for this in the description below. And I'll see you later.